Charmaine here and welcome to another video. In this video, I will take you on this journey that I am on, which is an effort to improve my handwriting and my handwriting in cursive using a fountain pen. As you can see on screen, this is the first page of my journal. Everything is a bit wonky, but I will show you how I got from this point to a bit of an improvement in the next couple of pages. So this is like sort of like a penmanship vlog. So I will show you how I got started and I will also share with you the progress that I have made so far. But of course, before anything else, do click subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. So the real question was, where do I begin or how do I even start to improve my handwriting? So I watched a couple of videos and tutorials with the following topics. How to improve your handwriting, how to write in cursive, and how to write with a fountain pen. There are a ton of resources online and I will be honest with you, it was quite intimidating at first. So many techniques, so many tips, so many pen types, so many things to remember really. So it was very intimidating. So to make the information more manageable, I just took notes and picked three things that I wanted to apply onto my personal practice. And I will share this in detail later on. Before that, of course, you will need your journal. And this one is a new sketchbook from ferris wheel press so if you don't know yet i am actually a sponsored artist for 2021 by the ferris wheel press company this partnership is actually the driving force behind this whole endeavor to improve my penmanship like they have such beautiful stationery and like the sketchbook and they also send through inks as well and I personally think that their top tier stationery and products deserve decent handwriting when I share them. I mean, they have been such an inspiration. The colors, the quality, they have inspired me so much that I have been genuinely motivated to improve my handwriting. I've always wanted to improve my cursive handwriting. I'm a big fan of Harry and Tersh on Instagram. They have wonderful handwriting on their journals and I think that's just been something that I've always wanted to do. And it's nice that I finally consciously put an effort to do it. And this A5 sketchbook from Fairy Wheel Press is my canvas. This is the perfect companion for this project of mine because the pages of this journal is actually bleed and feather resistant. Mm. So it's very much perfect for me wanting to learn how to write in cursive using the fountain pens. Of course, this little endeavor also gives me more than enough excuse to set time to actually use and play around with this Twilight Garden collection from Fairy's Wheel Press. So they have a new set of colors. I'll put them in the link below if you want to check them out. So I started the first page of this journal with my normal cursive handwriting. Notice how my handwriting is very wonky. You would say that my handwriting is already good or my cursive is already good. It's nice, but to be honest, it's not. There is no direction. There is no font or pattern that I'm following. I'm just writing based on stuff that I've learned in the past. So you can say that this is my cursive handwriting, which is which comes naturally to me. So it's not ugly, but it's not in the level that I would want it to be. At first, I was hesitant to even write anything on it because I know it was going to come out bad. But then I thought it would make for a fun reference to see how my handwriting would improve, hopefully improve over time. So on this first page, I actually just wrote about my feelings towards my handwriting and why I wanted to improve it. And also the three things that I wanted to observe or improve upon based on all the things or all the videos that I watched. The first one is to write slowly and mindfully. The second is observe three flourish points, which is I will flourish on 
the capital letters i will flourish the bottom extensions and i will extend t's i know my brain i won't be able to remember an entire flourish set of an alphabet so i wanted to familiarize myself with these three things first and maybe just add more stuff later on then lastly i have to write bigger so it will be easier for me to practice my cursive handwriting because if you've seen my journal pages from before you will know that i'm a person that tends to write in small or tiny letters so with these three things i thought that it would be easier to improve my handwriting my cursive handwriting so this is what i did i just kept all this in mind although i didn't film everything or every practice set that i did i tried my best to keep these three rules that i've set for myself and i just practiced and practiced so for my practice i actually wrote down lyrics of songs mostly taylor swift songs so i would click on the one hour loop of the song so it just keeps repeating and repeating while i read through the lyrics and write them down so i just write everything and when i'm done there is no learning if there isn't any correction right i mean it already from afar it looks like it's okay it's nice but actually there are a lot of points for improvement so i just go back and observe all the mistakes that i think i can still improve upon like for example my first couple of letters are always wonky i think it's because i'm still intimidated when i start i still get like a bit anxious to start at all then i sometimes miss the flourishes for example some of the t's are not extended and also when there are inconsistencies in my lettering for example my f's and stuff so i just jot them down one of the things that i really improved upon is actually the spacing i didn't think it mattered a lot but this is my first page where my spacing for each line is wonky and inconsistent and you can see as you go further through the notebook i was able to have a consistent spacing for the rest of the pages so i just you know like checking my own work and writing down annotations on how i can improve or things that i'd like to add to when i write next or if there are any other flourishes that i wanted to add so in the end it was more of a self-correction and in my head right now it's like when i I have like or when I get used to the flourishes or the rules that I've set the first three I can slowly add more details to it maybe add more flourishes with other letters just so the whole process isn't so intimidating and it just doesn't sound so formal I'm not sure if like calligraphers would agree with me but so far I have seen how my work has improved in just a couple of days and it's a fun process to see to actually flip through the pages of this sketchbook and just notice the tiny tiny difference or the tiny tiny progress and improvements that i get to have in each page this endeavor of mine actually helped me become more familiar with fountain pens and ink so I know the weight of my fountain pens now and also how they write and the thickness that they render and the technical knowledge actually helps me become more aware of how my cursive will come out or how my handwriting will come out based on what tool or what writing tool I'm using. I have a long way to go but it was fun documenting the first few pages of this journal. If you want to keep track of my progress, I suggest you follow me on Instagram. I'm over there. My handle is Shassi. Thank you so much for watching this video through till the end. I hope you were able to find a bit of inspiration or maybe motivation to actually start your own journey in improving your handwriting or more specifically, your cursive handwriting as well. Anyway guys, I'll end this video here. I will see you in the next one. For now... Stay safe, keep well, bye!